So this video is about the optical cross in retinoscopy. In the last videos, we have discussed about the principles of retinoscope, the different parts of retinoscope and the importance of working distance in retinoscopy, right? Uh, the important drugs which we used in cycloplegic refraction, right? Their dioptric allowance. And now this video is about the optical cross, the net and gross retinoscopic values. And we have also discussed about the with moment. We have also discussed about the against moment and we have discussed about the neutral points. And now let's discuss about the optical cross in retinoscopy. So as you already know about the difference between streak and reflex, we have discussed in the last videos, right? The streak is actually the light which is coming from the retinoscope and fall on the patient's eye, right? And what is reflex? The reflex is actually in the patient's pupil, right? The streak is going in the retina, right? It's reflecting back from the retina and that reflecting back light is called reflex, which we observe in the patient's pupil and only observer and only optometrist or ophthalmologist can detect that reflex in the patient's pupil. And now we will make different examples of optical cross in retinoscopy. As you can see, this is optical cross. This is vertical meridian at 90 degree and this is horizontal meridian at 180 degree. And you have to remember one important thing and that is if the streak, right? If the streak is at 90 degree, right? Then we will move the streak in this manner, in this fashion, right? If the streak is at 90 degree, then we will move the streak in this fashion, right? It means we are actually neutralizing which meridian? 180 meridian because the streak is moving in horizontal fashion in this way. The axis of the streak is 90 degree but streak is moving in horizontal direction, right? So if the streak is at 90 degree then we are actually neutralizing which meridian? 180 meridian, right? And if the streak is at 180 degree then we will move the streak in this manner, in this fashion, right? and it is moving in the vertical meridian. Streak is horizontal, but streak is moving in vertical meridian. So when the streak is at 180 degree, we are actually neutralizing the 90 meridian or vertical meridian. And you know about the with and against moments, right? And there are three different conditions in which we observe with moments in the patient's pupil. Like if my patient is e metrope my patient's visual acuity is 6 by 6 he do not he does doesn't have any refractive error then it means we will observe with movement in that patient in that person i must say because he is fine he doesn't have any refractive error right and if the patient is of hypermetropia right then we will also observe with movement in that hyperopic patient and in case of myopia but the myopia must be less than or up to 1.5 diopters, right? If myopia is of 1 point minus 1.5 diopters or less than 1.5 diopters, then we will also observe with movement in that myopic patient. So three different conditions, emetropia, hypermetropia, myopia, but less than 1.5 diopters. In three of these conditions, the doctor the ophthalmologist or the optometrist or the observer will observe with movement in the patient's pupil right and in the case of myopia more than 1.5 diopters then we will observe against movement and now we will discuss about the different optical cross in retinoscopy suppose we have a patient of hypermetropia and you know that in hyperopic condition we always neutralized we always feel we always observe with movement and we have to neutralize the with movement with plus spherical lenses, right? So we'll make an optical cross. This is 90 and this is 180 meridian. Suppose our 90 meridian is neutralized at plus 4, for example. And this meridian, 180 meridian is neutralized at plus 6 spherical, right? And the working distance was normal, which is standard working distance, 67 centimeter. And you know that we have already discussed about the conversion of 67 centimeter into dioptric form and dioptric form is 1.5 diopters. So the working distance in centimeter is 67 and in dioptric form is 1.5 and you know that we have to deduct 
द वर्किंग डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द न्यूट्रल पॉइंट राइट सो वी विल डिडक्ट वन पॉइंट फाइव फ्रॉम प्लस फोर वी विल डिडक्ट वन पॉइंट फाइव वर्किंग डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम प्लस सिक्स राइट एंड If we deduct plus four from one point five, the value would be plus two point five, right? And if we deduct minus one point five from plus six, the value would be plus four point five. So now we have two different values. We have deducted the working distance from these neutral points, and now the values at ninety meridian is two point five, and one eighty meridian is four point five. right so now it's your choice then you will select as your spherical correction is plus 2.5 or plus 4.5 so i will select my spherical power as plus 2.5 but this is your choice you can choose your spherical correction or you you can choose your spherical form in plus 4.5 as well right so i will choose as my sphere plus 2.5 now this is an important point student always make mistakes over here how can we find our cylinder now for detecting or for our finding our cylinder we actually have to move from plus 2.5 to plus 4.5 we we will find a gap between these two values right this is you can see this is 2.5 then 3 then we are moving to 3.5, then 4, and then 4.5. So we have to move from 2.5 to 4.5. So we need to find the gap. So if we move from plus 2.5 to 3, the value is 0.5, right? And if we move from 3 to 3.5, again 0.5. Now from 3.5 to 4, again 0.5. and from 4 to 4.5 again 0.5 so if we move from 2.5 to 4.5 the gap between these two values is 0.5 0.5 0.5 and 0.5 and if we add if we sum up all these values then the answer is plus 2 0.5 and 0.5 1 1 and 0.5 1.5 1.5 and 0.5 is 2 right so our cylinder would be 2 right and now another important point right this is technical point what would be the sign of the cylinder right so for gaining the sign of the cylinder you have to move you have to observe that you are actually moving from plus 2.5 which is lesser plus value to the plus 4.5 which is greater plus value so we are actually moving from lesser plus value to greater plus value right we are actually moving from least plus power to the greater plus power so we are actually our direction is towards the plus direction right so the sign would be plus right and now axis our sphere was 2.5 and the axis of the sphere was 90 degree you know this is this meridian is at 90 degree at vertical meridian so the axis of the cylinder would be the same as the meridian at which we have spherical correction so sphere is at vertical meridian so our axis would be 90 so this is our net retinoscopic value this is our prescription and now we will discuss about the case number 2 right and you know that if the if we observe against movement in the patient's pupil then it means it's the patient has myopia and more than 1.5 right so suppose our patient is of myopia now this is case number 2 so we neutralize our 90 meridian at you can say minus 3 for example and 180 meridian or horizontal meridian we neutralized at minus 4.00 for example so these are our two neutral points and the condition is we performed our retinoscopy at 67 cm 
or 1.5 diopters right and we used the cycloplegic drugs as cyclopentolate so now we have to detect both of these values working distance and effect of the drug which is cyclopentolate and you know that the dioptric allowance of cyclopentolate is more or less 0.5 right so the effect of the drug is 0.5 and working distance is 1.5 so 1.5 and 0.5 0.5 is for the effect of the drug and 1.5 is working distance so we have to detect both of these values from the neutral points right so if we sum up both of these values the answer is plus 2 so now we have to deduct plus 2 from our neutral points from minus 3 and from minus 4 as well we have to deduct we have to minus right the value of the working distance is always in plus right remember the value of the working distance is always in plus but we have to deduct we have to minus we have to subtract these values from the neutral points so now we will subtract or deduct these values algebraically remember right so minus 2 we will deduct minus 2 from both of these values so you know that minus and minus is equal to plus minus and minus is equal to plus algebraically minus and minus is equal to plus right so 3 and 2 would be now we'll make another cross so minus 3 and minus 2 we will sum up minus and minus plus and the net value would be minus 5 right we will put the sign of the minus because both of these values are in minus form and another thing the greater value the sign with the greater value is minus right so we have to put minus sign over here and now minus 4 and minus 2 minus minus plus right so we will add both of these values minus 4 and minus 2 4 and 2 6 6.00 and the sign would be the greater sign the sign of the minus is with the greater value so we will put minus sign right so you can choose your cylinder sphere as minus 5 as minus 6 so now we will choose our sphere as minus 6 so suppose our spherical correction is minus 6 which we can select ourselves so minus 6 is our sphere to find the cylinder we have to move from minus 6 to minus 5 so you know that the gap between 6 and 5 is is very simple 1 right the gap between 6 and 5 is 1 and now what about the sign of the cylinder right this is important thing every time so we are actually moving from minus 6 to minus 5 so now we are actually moving from greater sign greater value of the minus to lesser value of the minus so we are actually moving towards a plus direction from greater to least minus direction so minus 5 then minus 4 then minus 3 then minus 2 then minus 1 then 0 then we will move towards a plus then plus 1 and plus we are actually moving towards a plus direction we will take care of direction over here not the values right right so we have to take care of the direction we are actually moving towards the plus direction from minus 6 to minus 5 then minus 5 to minus 4 then minus 4 to minus 3 then minus 3 to minus 2 then minus 2 to minus 1 then 0 then plus we are actually moving towards a plus direction so sign would be of plus right this is very important thing and what about the sign sorry what about the axis of the cylinder we actually take minus 6 as our sphere and minus 6 is at 180 meridian so 180 are axis so this is final prescription hope you understand now let's take a short break and after the break we will learn that how can we find a final prescription of retinoscopy in just spherical form or how can we find our retinoscopic final prescription in just cylindrical form